Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I am going to give you 10 tips to help you improve your eight ball game. Number one, try to control the cue ball on the break. By controlling the ball, we simply mean not having the cue ball flying around the table after your break. Experiment with hitting the cue ball low, hitting the cue ball high, using a stun stroke, Find out what works for you. Number two, survey the table to find out which balls are in the best position for a run out. Half the time, the balls that are most poised for a run out are not necessarily the easiest first shot. Number three, try to work one end of the table and then the other. You notice I shot all the balls that were at the far end of the table and worked my way down to the balls that are at this end of the table. Number four, have a plan to get on the eight ball. The eight ball is the only ball that you need to shoot in any particular order. Now, in this run, I'm going to keep it on the table so that I can run the low balls just for illustration purposes. But you can see that I have two balls that are parallel here, which makes it very difficult to get position. So I tried to nudge the 15 there, but I did manage to leave myself the easiest bank shot ever. Number five, do not be afraid to nudge balls. If you have a ball that's in a position that it can help you by stopping the cue ball like we did there with the eight or getting other balls out of the way, don't fear nudging these balls. You should be hitting at such a slow pace that you're not going to send the ball to some alien area of the table. You're just going to nudge it enough to get position on a next shot. For more information about nudging balls for position, see our video on nudging. Number six, side pocket shots are usually the best balls to get position on the eight ball. In most racks of eight ball, the eight ball is going to be sitting in the general area where it is on this table. Number seven, identify problem shots and make sure you take care of them. That six ball was a problem shot. A lot of players think to themselves, oh, I'm going to get on the six later. And the next thing you know, they're racking for somebody else. Be true to yourself about what a problem shot is. That six ball could only be made from this end of the table. That's why we took it early. I... Number eight, be careful with your end game position play. This is when the game actually gets more difficult because you have fewer options. I should have played that one ball shot with high left. I would have gotten straighter on this seven ball and had easier position on the eight. The shot on the seven ball to the eight could have been a lot easier if I took the time to get straighter in on the seven ball. Let's look at another run. This break is a good illustration of how difficult it is to keep the cue ball in the center of the table. We controlled the cue ball to the center of the table and then the nine came off of two rails, hit the two ball into the 11, the 11 hit the cue ball down to the other end of the table. But because we have an even distribution, we still have a shot. Don't obsess over trying to get the cue ball in the center of the table. We have a pretty challenging rack here because as you can see, there are two stripe balls clustered up with the eight ball right at the spot. So what we're doing here is trying to find a way to nudge that cluster. Number eight, if you can't get to your problems early, have a plan to get to them. You can see I'm pointing out where I'm trying to get so that I can deal with that cluster. So this is my early attempt at getting to it. Everything I did up to now was thinking about getting on this cluster and breaking those balls up. This shot is actually a pretty good attempt to break them up, but we're just about a half an inch short of hitting that eight ball. If we had just touched the eight, we would have broke up the cluster. So now I get to take another shot at it. I'm going to put a little low on this and try to come off the rail and hit the cluster. Not quite. So then we're going to have to kick at it. But watch, I don't even hesitate here. I just call the pocket and go ahead and shoot at it. We make a very good attempt on that ball. Now, that's number nine. If you have a difficult shot, don't stress over it. Don't let your body language show, hey, things went wrong. Just go ahead and take your next shot. You don't have to be overly dramatic. You don't have to shake your head and put your head down. 
Just shoot it like nothing happened. You know what you're going to have to do. Go ahead and take the shot or play safety, whatever you're going to do. Once again, you can see that I'm working the far end of the table, and then I'll work my way back to run the rest of this rack. I'm going to put myself straight on this five ball so that I can shoot a stop shot here to play to four, and this rack is going to be a wrap. But you can also see that by running those striped balls, I opened up the table for my opponent, assuming I'm a shooting as the opponent here. If you're not going to run out, think about playing a safety. That's tip number 10. Think about playing a safety so that you don't open up the table this wide for your opponent to run out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit me in the comments and let me know what you think.